Welcome back, this is Yama Jack, and today we got Gunslinger Suicidal Elysium. You thought I was muted. You thought I was muted, didn't you? Maybe you could hear me breathing or something, I don't know. But, uh... I hope you thought I was muted. That was, that was what the goal was. I, uh... I have no topics to talk about. I was working on, um... A bot for Terraria to fish for me, but man, working around in the Terraria memories is really just got me like it's one of the weirdest games I've ever. I don't know. I I guess you could call it hacked, but like it's I don't know modded maybe. It's one of the, it's one of the weirdest games that I've I've uh, reverse engineered. I guess, I don't know. I don't know what the right word for what I'm doing is. I'm just like poking through the memory and trying to make uh, a little bit of automation and, and change how the game works in a small way. Act, I guess. I don't. I don't know what the term for it is. Mod feels wrong. Hacked feels kind of disingenuous. I don't know what the right one is. Um, but but whatever the case is, it's it's one of the weirdest games I've I've ever kind of like worked with like this because. Um, I, I looked for inventory items, so I, I searched for like the stack size of an item, and then changed the stack size, and then searched for the stack size again, and I found it, and I was able to modify the item ID. Well, like I, I found the address of the uh, item stack size, and I was able to, to kind of like poke around through memory a little bit around that area, find the item ID. Uh, also in memory in like the same region. Uh, I was able to change that and then like change what item I had in that inventory slot and like modify the item count and stuff. Is this just husk dodgeball now? Um, and then all of a sudden the uh, it just stopped. Like it, the, the address for all this stuff just moved somewhere else and I'm like what the heck? Um, so I was like, weird. Um, and then I was doing some fishing. I was setting up some automation for fishing. Um, so I wanted to see if I could find, uh, an address that stored the fish that was on the hook uh, as you were fishing and then only fish up with, uh, with my script, only fish up, um, the fish that I wanted, which is like, you know, if I were to use the sonar potion and fish manually, that would be the same thing, right? Um, so I found an address that did that, that had that stored. Uh, it looked like it was counting up to the, uh, like it, it was like counting up a fishing timer or something. And then when it reached like 600 or something, it was changing to the, uh, the fish ID that was caught. So I could change that ID around and, uh, catch fish. Like whatever item I changed that ID to, um, when I tried to pull up uh, a fish on the line, it would pull up that item. I could, you know, pull up cell phones or uh, whatever I wanted. In fact, I can I can show you that. I think. So we have. We can change you to this one. And if I pull cheat engine over. So if we take a peek at this. Right here. Okay, so it's it's kind of doing the weird stuff here. These aren't counting, but they should be counting. But they aren't counting. That's got me kind of concerned a little bit. Because these these right here should be the item ID of the... I thought I had them all, but I guess I don't. Ah, there it is. See? Like, that's that's the thing, is it just, like, randomly changes. So that's a bass. Um, if we change this to 3124, I believe. Uh, oh, we have to freeze it at first. Um... 324, I believe, is, uh... No? Okay, so it's changed again, I guess. So that's a bass. That's 2290. That's a bass. 2290. That's bass. Um, we can change this to... 3797, I think, maybe? Apprentice's hat. See? So, like, I can I can pull up whatever I want, right? I'm not going to keep that because I don't want to actually cheat in the game. But, like, 
Sometimes the address just like changes. So all of these are addresses. And I think there's one more that it's going to as well, which is just like very, very weird. Very, very weird. So I've been, I've been poking around in memory a little bit, trying to see if I can find um, uh, some kind of address or, or like what lines of, uh, of code are, are actually like putting the data into the addresses or, or deciding what addresses it goes into or, or whatever. I don't, I don't, I don't really know. It's, it's a really weird experience. It's like everything I find except for the sort of like base player movement stuff. Um, like if you take a look, the, uh, um, do, 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 stop. You want to go back to Terraria. If you take a look at the, this is my mana. So if we change this, it should change to whatever we want, which is exactly what we want. If you take a look at the memory region nearby here, uh, and we change the display type to float, um, we should be able to. So this is my X coordinate and this is my Y coordinate. So if I were to change this to like, uh, let's just move me six to 700. Okay, I, I uh, this one, six, seven to 700. Oop, see, I kind of like bounced over a little bit there. Uh, this is my Y corner. I think that these ones are for draw calls maybe, and then these ones are for the internal or something like that. I'm not sure exactly, um, but they're always there. These ones I can find very easily. Uh, if we change the display type to four byte decimal, we have HP, MP. Um, I don't know what some of these other ones are for, but they're like changing quite rapidly. So I don't think they're anything static. Um, we should have some more floats here too as well. Actually, this one here, I believe there is one that is like the direction that I'm facing as well. I can't remember where that one is. Can't remember where it is, but it, it, it's somewhere. Somewhere, I'm, I'm, I swear I know where it is. Ah, this one right here, these two. So you see if I move, it changes. So these ones are the direction that I'm facing. So right now I'm like changing back and forth between left and right. So that's the direction I'm facing. I could change those. Um, these ones here are like velocity. Anyway, those ones are all very, like all that player object stuff there in that sort of memory region there is all Static, so it's not like everything is moving. It's just uh, some of the stuff is moving. Um, inventory isn't doesn't seem to be stored anywhere around that region either, um, which I kind of expected it would be. I thought that the player would kind of like contain the inventory as well. I don't know. It's weird though. It's weird. Um, so I've I've got a bit more work to do before I can figure out how to get the uh, the fishing thing done. And I still want to get the cell phone working, and yeah, just a lot of stuff um, to, to, to do, so. But it's it's okay. It's okay. We're, worst case scenario, I have to, to, like, find an empty space in memory and then just, you know, write in there. Typically, you know, D-E-A-D-B-E-F-E. -E -E, dead beef. So it's typically a good space to, to put some of your own memory stuff because it's a word and that's that's a meme right you gotta you gotta do it right so it's what it's what you have to do when you're when you're doing this kind of stuff okay you don't have a choice anyway that's what I've been doing and the fishing thing is is really really frustrating because like like I, like you saw sometimes the uh, the ID doesn't change when it's actually on the thing it like just doesn't move so. I don't know why that's happening. And the inventory stuff is doing like a similar thing, and yeah, it's weird. I gotta kind of. It's gonna be a bit more testing and, and fiddling with stuff. I'm not doing it too much, you know. I'm, I'm like, like ten minutes here, ten minutes there, forty minutes here, forty minutes there. You know, like not nothing 
too insane that I'm really I'm not like sitting down and spending hours like working through it and like finding all the addresses and locations and regions and everything to, to be able to kind of master the internals workings of Terraria. I'm, I'm merely like, you know, it'd be cool. I wonder if I can do this easily. And then I'm like, eh, I can't really do that easily. I'll put it off till when I have the motivation to, to do something or wait for Tmod Loader to, to get updated to 1.4 or whatever, you know, like, I'm not, uh, I'm not super worried about it, but you know, you got to do it, right? You gotta, you gotta do it to them. You, you got you gotta, you don't have a choice. You know what's happening. You gotta pre-fire. All right, I'm a, uh, I'm a pre-fire now. You guys remember? Uh, I don't know if you guys played like competitive. Uh, not, not super com like not CS uh, uh, one point. What was it? CS one point four or something like that. Um, but. Uh, Wolfenstein, Combat Arms, um, uh, I'm trying to think of some other first person shooters back then. I, mean, I think they're still around, but I don't really think anybody plays them. <laughs> uh, but back back then anyway, this, this is mid 2000s, maybe late 2000s, you know, not, not, not into the 2010s, you know. Um, but Turtle Beach, Turtle Beach headphones were like all the craze, you know. I remember, I remember playing uh, Combat Arms, and people would call me a hacker all the time, and and I'd be like, oh no, I got the t I got the Turtle Beach like X12s or something, and and just immediately they'd be, you know, oh oh I see, yeah okay, yeah I, I need to get some of those myself. I'm just like I'm not really being that good. It'd be a big upgrade. I'm like, head headphones help, but bottom line is they don't make that much of a difference you know like like that was I remember people talking in the like general chat in uh, in combat arms but wanted to get these turtle beaches because it was they were like the best they were the headphones you got if you were like a not not if you were like a pro gamer cuz I mean back then pro gamer <laughs> that was that was a meme okay pro pro gamer back then was was a meme that you you, you like you, you wouldn't even have dreams of being a pro gamer, you know, you'd, you'd be like, uh, you know what I want to be for a living? I want to be a gamer. And then the job actually opened up, like, oh, you have to be good at games to be a pro gamer? See, that's not what I said. Uh, but it was, it was the Turtle Beaches, man. Every, everybody wanted them. Anybody who was good definitely had them. Those were the days of the uh, the glorious... Like, uh, you know, 360 no scope montages and. Let the bodies hit the floor! Let the bodies hit the floor! You know? <laughs> all, all of that kind of stuff. It was, it, those were the glory days of YouTube, if I, uh, if I do say so myself. It's not nostalgia talking, it's, it's object, it's objective, okay? The best time on the internet was before, uh, advertisements ruined it. <clears throat> By the way, don't use an ad blocker when I get, uh, no, you should, you should, like, people should, uh, I talk about ad blockers with, uh, with friends and whatnot, uh, oftentimes. And something like, oh, I don't use an ad blocker, I like supporting the, the creators that I watch, or something. I'm like, you should just use an ad blocker anyway. Because, like, the fraction of, of a penny that you're giving them with your occasional ad watch, which you're probably skipping anyway, which is not helping them. Um, is like putting you at more risk than it's worth, just kind of objectively. I mean, and and people get mad at that too because they're like, "Well, I'm not gonna click on anything." Well, okay, let's 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 take that kind of an argument, right? Let's let's take that argument that that people make when I when I talk about ad block. Well, I'm not gonna click on anything anyway. I'm not gonna get a virus, okay? Let's assume that you do have to click on it to get a virus. You don't. But let's let's assume that you do, okay? Water. Let's play into this idea that you know zero day attacks just don't exist, okay? Let's just ignore them. You're not supporting them. You know you know how much money 
just like a normal ad view gets like nothing it's like thousands of views to pennies you know it's nothing the money comes from clicks your your click through rate is is the important metric uh, but just like a, a view on an ad isn't isn't doing anything so so when people are like well i don't click on the ads it's like well you're not supporting the creators either then and and don't click on ads for for creators uh, either if you're not actually interested in the product because you know, if everybody's doing that, that can kind of like raise some flags on them. So don't just like click on ads to support people either. But like that's the point, right? Is the advertisements are worth so, so little to the creators that uh, as an individual, you know, like as a, as, as a hive mind, right? As the entire viewer base of, uh, of a creator, if all of them were to block ads, that would be, of course, significant, right? Like that would have an impact on their income for sure but you're an individual you you aren't the viewer base as a whole you're an individual and and you should protect yourself first and that's again ignoring the fact that like zero day attacks exists anyway they don't happen too often and they don't happen for too long you know hence the zero day attack it's uh <sighs> like I said I'm very tired a uh, zero day attack is, um, like, immediately, you know, hackers literally moments ago found an exploit in the, the Chromium web browser, and uh, they're able to exploit uh, advertisement spots to infect your computer, you know? And then Google has all these warnings up when you're searching the web. This website was uh, infected by, you know, blah, 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 or whatever. And then the next day it's all gone. That's a zero day attack because it they found it they used it chrome node or noticed you know google or firefox or whatever web browser you use noticed that this is happening because like you do <laughs> it's very obvious when it's happening and infecting so many people which i guess i guess the way that you want to put it is uh if you're a hacker you want to uh use this exploit to infect as many people as possible because it's going to be noticed pretty dang quick anyway even if you don't even if you take it a little bit slower you're going to it's going to be noticed real quick all it takes is is you know one person being like hey i got a virus from this website or one antivirus kind of being like hey this seems a little bit weird or you know just just one thing going awry and and now the, the all of the the web browsers are immediately working on on preventing this from happening, and all of it gets shut down. As 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 a, as a hacker, you're you're completely just done at that point, right? So your goal when you find this is to work on uh, getting it out and as active and in, in infecting as many people as possible as quickly as possible. So it's highly highly noticeable when it happens, and then it gets pit, uh, fixed very very quickly because it's like super high priority, right? And it's this constant war between uh, good and evil. And Neither side really wins. Both sides kind of just lose perpetually. But, uh... Why do they walk that way? Are you gonna walk that way? No, you just, like... Kind of run up the... What are you doing, though, buddy? But both sides kind of just lose perpetually, right? Um... Anyway, so... You don't, you don't want to be infected by one of those either. So use use an ad block is really the moral of the story here. Okay? Because it's just, it's it's, a, it's an important piece of your uh, browsing safety. It's not about privacy, because let's face it, these days, we don't, we don't have privacy anymore, okay? The pri like, privacy is a, like, 1870 thing, okay? After like 18, 1871 and onwards, there was no more privacy. Okay, privacy is uh, is so last year. Okay, what happened in 1871? I'll, I'll be honest with you, I have no idea. It's a year I picked randomly. Who is this mysterious marksman? You know, with with regards to, to personal privacy, especially online privacy. You know, nothing nothing happened with regards to online privacy in 1870. I'll tell you that much. Uh, the internet's only been around for like what 60 years 70 years 
There are people alive who are older than literally everything that has ever been put on the internet. Well, like older than the time that they were put on, anyway. It's just, it's just, I'm, it's just a, a very, you know, better than thou, holier than thou kind of attitude with regards to saying, you know, the internet is younger than my grandma. It's not really a big thing. I think I've talked about this before, but uh, you know, thinking about technology and and how it's kind of progressed so rapidly in the last like. Yeah, well, 60, 70 years. Um, and, and how much of an impact it's had on so many people's lives, right? Because you, 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 have, you have the obvious ones, okay? You have, you have the obvious, right? Like, I have a phone. I'm playing Killing Floor 2 and you're watching it. Like, these, these are, and this is an effect that technology's growth has had on, on our lives. But it goes, it goes deeper than that, okay? Because, I I, like, I, like I said, I'm pretty sure I've talked about this before, but you have people who, back in, you know, 1930, 1940, or whatever, you know, like, way back then, kind of a hectic time, I suppose. But you have people way back in the, in the day, you know, who, even, even earlier than that, uh, much earlier than that, and those people are dead now, but... You have people from, from way back, way back before the internet or, or whatever existed who uh, immigrated or emigrated or, or whatever to, to, to wherever they, they currently live, right? And when they did that, that was like a goodbye, right? That was a, you know, hey, I love you, but we can't continue living here anymore. Like, we have to go. We have to, we have to leave. We have to find somewhere better to live. We have to, like, we, we, have, we have to go. You know, we don't, we don't really have a choice. We have to find a place with a better economy or whatever. You know, like, there are people who are just desperately trying to, to find something. And they're saying goodbye to their family and their friends and and leaving forever. Right? Like, that's their final goodbye. They're, they're leaving and, and they have no intent nor the ability to, to ever, ever see them again. Right? Like, it's, it's their final goodbyes. And then, you know, 20, 30 years later, maybe 40 years later, we have internet, planes, <laughs> like, all of a sudden, it's it's not really that big a deal to, to just, like, talk to your family and friends who you left behind. And so, like, just, just how much of an impact that must have had on these people who have made such, like, huge journeys to, to have, like, said goodbye to their family and, and never have been expecting to see them ever again and then for you know now we're you're just friends on facebook now you know like it's 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 crazy how much of a how much of an impact that has and then you have you know obviously the medical industry is booming well if the med medical industry is doing great from a uh, progression standpoint med medicine is is really really i mean it's it's good stuff right it's pretty it's pretty good stuff you got like all kinds of surgeries for all kinds of things and, and like oral medicines for like things that you know you would have died to forever ago you know this cat's back in the game. like chicken pox I mean chicken pox was gone you know there 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 are, there are a few um, problems that that we had eradicated but the anti-vaxxers decided uh, they wanted to be hipsters and you know, live that uh, 1920s life again, and and have chickenpox, and have that be like a death. When when did chickenpox become like not a deadly thing anymore? I don't know. Ch it used to be like a major problem, though, right? Like like you you die, the chickenpox, right? Nowadays, that that idea, well, ten years ago anyway, that idea would be crazy that somebody's dying to chickenpox. Nowadays, it's almost like not normal. Definitely not normal, but uh, more normal than it was like 10 years ago. Just because like anti-vaxxers have come on and, and ruined it. And speaking of anti-vaxxers, uh, we talked about it briefly in the last episode, but COVID apparently has a vaccine now. Uh, America apparently is getting it, I think, or something like that. I don't, I don't know. 
much about it. I, I, like I said before, I didn't read the article, and I still haven't. But it's a, it's an interesting discussion, I think, because wh whether it's coming out, you know, tomorrow or next year or whatever, I don't know. Um, there, there. How many people are not going to take it? How many, how many people are going to opt out of, of getting their vaccine because they're an anti-vaxxer? You know, it was, it was already bad enough when uh, people were like, yeah, I'd, I'd, you know, rather my child uh, die than get autism. And I'm like, bruh, you're like a terrible person. And uh, you're the closest to what I would say is, is worth dying. But I, I really don't think that anybody's, you know, at the... I don't think anybody deserves to die, really. But, you know, you got... Now now it's like, pe people are going to do it. You, you know that there's going to be outrage about it. And, and like, because you, you got so many people, especially in America, who are like, I'm not letting the government control me. I'm not wearing my mask. Me, re You know? People are do the same thing for the vaccine. And it's, like, going to be even dumber. It's going to be even dumber. So I think that there's going to be some regulations around it. Like, yeah, you just, you can't actually go somewhere unless you have the vaccine and uh, but like there's there's gonna be so many riots because of this like solution to covid which again i don't know if this vaccine is that or whatever but like assuming it is or whenever we actually do get a vaccine there are gonna be so many riots about it people that don't want it and are mad that the government's giving it to them which is like absolutely insane to me anyway that's gonna do it for today. I'm excited to go to sleep. I'm really tired. I'm like having trouble keeping my eyes open. Uh, but that's gonna do it for today. So thank you for watching. Remember to like the video, if you like, and subscribe to see more of the future comment if you have anything to say, and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.